A federal judge has struck down the CDC's national moratorium on evictions. The ban was meant to prevent homelessness during the pandemic, but the judge says the agency does not have the authority to impose this. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Aya Glau is live in downtown Meriden. Aya, what does this mean for evictions? Well, Wendell and Nicole, the federal ruling does not apply here in Connecticut, and that's because Connecticut has its own eviction moratorium that's set to expire come May 20th. So to get a better understanding of how this will all play out, we spoke with our Channel 3 legal expert, Eric Parker. The nationwide eviction ban was put in place during the Trump administration to help those hit hardest by the pandemic. President Biden plans on keeping it in effect, but that's changing following a federal judge's ruling on Wednesday, arguing the CDC overstepped its authority. As our Channel 3 legal expert Eric Parker explains, what happened in federal court does not apply here in Connecticut. No matter what happens with the federal one, the state one is still in effect. The judge's ruling can't touch that state order. So the state order still gives a couple more weeks of protection for tenants. Connecticut's eviction moratorium expires on May 20th. That's when the state will fully reopen. Governor Lamont can extend it again with the approval of the legislature, or it could end for good. I think it's impossible to know if the governor will say, OK, you know, bars are open, restaurants are open, kids are back in school. All right, that's it. It's time. Maybe it is a little longer that it'll continue, but eventually it will end. And I think that's what a lot of people will be watching for. The state has offered assistance to tenants and landlords in the last year, but we could see a surge in evictions once the order gets lifted. Now, I also know that a group of landlords here in Connecticut have sued the state over this eviction moratorium. We are working to learn more about what will happen come May 20th here in our state. We have reached out to the governor's office, but we haven't heard back just yet.